Alright, so now we're going to go back and start going through some of the secret content. For things first, since I don't have any power-ups, I'm just going to get a full complement of... Uh, well, the next level is a water level. Do I want fire or do I want to fly? Yeah, let's just do the feathers. Jump off Yoshi. But yeah, uh, fire flowers can make these uh, swimming levels easier. Uh, but yeah, you can spin cape these guys as well. Just be sure not to touch them any other way. And you can get up under that guy and hit him by knocking the block out of place. So, up in this, there's a way to get a life up here, but it's also a nice way to just advance through the level real quickly. Okay, so now this is the uh, first instance of the swimming trick. So when I hit this block... Oh, no, not here. I'm going to use this. So by holding on to one of these blue blocks, as you see, they, you can kick them off. Uh... You'll notice that by having the cape uh, holding an item allows me to float automatically, which can be a blessing and a curse, as you just saw. Uh, but it just it keeps me from having to spam the uh, jump button to swim. Alright, so we're going to get around this guy, and we're going to drop down into this hole, because that uh, question mark gives you a, a key. Now this is the second exit, but I want to kind of hold on to the key here, because it allows me to swim to the end of the level pretty quickly here. But it doesn't let me get the life because it floats away. But that's alright. Cleared the level anyway. So that's the first exit that will get you up to the uh, first ghost house here.